With us right now, Justin Nasiri. Justin, you are the founder and CEO of Captivate, found on the web at captivate.ai. Justin, also a fellow Navy veteran. And it's funny, we were, we were like looking at the clock. I'm like, okay, we could talk Navy stuff for, for the next 30 <laughs> minutes pretty easily. Uh, I'm like, oh, no, we got to start the recording. So, Justin, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So uh, let's talk about this because we were talking about this beforehand. So tell me about your uh, tell me about your Navy experience. I I spent five years on a submarine, of which a, just over a year in total was spent underwater. And um, I don't know your experience, Josh. It's it sometimes you know it's it's uh, almost you know twenty years removed for me now. So it feels like a movie yeah. that I saw at this point. It's so far ago. But I'm really grateful for the camaraderie and the leadership yes. training it gave me. I'm very grateful to not be on a submarine now, but it was a, a fun <laughs> way to start my career. I was on a sub for, I was telling you, I was, I was on a sub for three days uh, and um, that was plenty enough. <laughs> Yep. Not, I think uh, for most people that the submarine ride at Disneyland that, you know, the 20 minute ride is probably more than enough. <laughs> that's yep. Absolutely. Good enough. Well, listen, you know, thanks for, thanks for doing that. You know, the, the, the further, and it feels like the further away I get from it or the older I get, the more that I appreciate, you know, the decision that that yeah. 17, 18 year old kid did, yeah. um, you know, for me, it was, um, I, I think I had fairly limited options. So it kind of <laughs> cornered me. It's kind of like Richard Gere and officer and gentleman. I got no, <laughs> like I certainly, you know, had no idea how I was going to afford college and all that other stuff. And, you know, uh, 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 a recruiter came into our journalism class and gave us a pitch. I'm like, eh, all right, that sounds great. But now I appreciate the fact that it is, you know, it's just very much a sacrifice. And, you know, oh, for, yeah. we need folks, uh, you know, to volunteer to wear the uniform and do what they need to do to keep everybody safe. So, Justin, thank you so much for your yeah, service, even you though well. it's, like I said, a yep. long time ago. Uh, thanks mm -hmm. for doing that. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So now let's flat. Let's fast forward to uh, to Captivate and and tell us all about what Captivate is and does. So Captivate, what what it does is um, we work with any company that does a podcast, a webinar, or an event. And what we found is that they pour a lot of time and money into creating fantastic content of which they only get about 10% of the value. Mm -hmm. And we help them get the other 90%. Uh, what we do is we take their long video file. We find the best pieces of it. We chop it up into short videos for TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, yeah. YouTube, everywhere. Um, we have a platform that helps them publish it. But most importantly, our system tracks and sees how do these perform. If a video does really well, it informs our system so we can create more content like that. So it's this constantly optimizing system that creates, we say, from a single episode, podcast episode, we create three months of social media content. Mm, yeah. Is that possible? How do you do that? Yep. A lot of a lot of technology, a lot of people, and a lot of people assisted or technology assisted people. Um, but uh, yeah, we spent about a year developing a platform to make this as simple as you know you upload uh, an episode and you get out uh, videos and graphics. Yeah. So um, explain exactly like how like is is this a, is this a service or, or I, I explain like how workflow wise that this is all coming together so it is it is a um it software as a service mm -hmm. and so most of our clients we you know we work with some bigger companies and we'll do a lot of strategic advising and and things like that but for the most part we work with small businesses uh we have a dashboard they log into it they click on a button that says upload new episode and they just give us a link to like a Zoom recording like we're doing now or a Dropbox link anywhere where the video file is. They give us a little bit of information. Hey, this, this is the person I interviewed. This is the pieces that I like. And that's, that's really it. Uh, they log back in and they'll see about 20 to 30 videos and graphics. Everything's sortable so they can say, hey, I wanna see all my Instagram content. I wanna see all my LinkedIn content. They just push a button, it publishes it. Um, it's all searchable, we do the transcription. So if you're a year from now, you're looking for a video where someone talks about submarines, you could type, type in submarine mm -hmm. and you'd find a little clip from our conversation. And we're really aiming to create a new content management system for uh, podcasts and webinars. 
I, yeah, I love it. So, you know, I think a lot of times we look at folks that create a lot of content and we're like, how on earth do they do it? And yep. I, it, a lot of times it just, it comes down to great processes, comes down to great, you know, like for me, like, obviously if I'm the one in front of the camera, um, the, I'm the only one that can do that, right? If it's, yep. that's me, right? And today, anyway, until we yep. create Robot Josh, who, who yep. you know, through AI <laughs> can just teach, you know, all the stuff that, uh, you know, I've cataloged over the years, that future is probably not that far away. Um, yep. But, you know, in order for that, all of that content to be available on LinkedIn and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and, you know, and then in a podcast and on YouTube and all these other places, TikTok and so forth. Um, like it, it takes, it takes a team in it order does. to do that. And yep. we still use smart tools. Um, and, and one of the things that I think, you know, that, that we could make this much easier if as business leaders, and as, you know, influencers, or whatever, teachers, you know, whatever it is, like we become masterful at repurposing. Uh, yep. Because if you, if you teach a 15 minute lesson and it just goes out on one platform one time and 12 people see it, what a waste, you know, it's yeah. wonderful for those 12 people, but man, that 12 minute video, you could do yep. so much with that. Big. And you're, I mean, you're a role model for this. You're one of the few who's doing this, doing this well. You know, what what I'm coming to believe is that we're in the age of top of mind marketing. Yeah. And we've all been on the other end of sales where someone is nagging us, checking in, the timing isn't right, but they're trying to force their agenda on us. What I believe is a much better approach is if you as a person, you as a business, if you can be a thought leader, where every day you're publishing thoughtful content, content that teaches, content that adds value. It might be six months from now, but you want someone when they think of like, oh, who's that person who does X, Y, or Z? Mm. You need to be top of mind. And the only way to do that is to be active and consistent on multiple social channels. And we're trying to give you the ammo to do that. Most companies, it's very hard to create enough content to actually maintain that consistency. But what we found is, you know, the thing that works in the gym, the thing that works in your retirement count, it is consistently, consistently exercising, consistently putting money away. It's the same for marketing, consistently publishing high quality content. Yeah, yeah, it, absolutely. All right, so um, it's your your platform, um, like, I, so I'm on your website, captivate.ai. Um, I don't see any prices. Yep. <laughs> so I, I, all of a sudden I assume, uh-oh, it must be expensive if I don't see any like, you know, as so this, we have, we just, so um, we started focusing on bigger companies to learn yes. from them. And that's still the bulk of our business. We are just launching a self-service platform and it's aimed at solopreneurs, independent podcasters, people, Great. you know, like I've been in that seat before, you don't have enough hours in a day so we can get a lot off your plate. And we've targeted a $500 a month price point to create all the content that you'll need for a month. And um, we we are haven't added it to our website yet, but if people do a request demo, we can send them that information because yeah. we want to make this a price point that's a no brainer to give you all of that video content to put to use. All right, so let's talk about because I think even when you mentioned five hundred dollars for a SaaS platform, people are like, oh, okay, well, yep. you know, that's <laughs> not you know a, a, an eleven ninety nine a month SaaS tool. Yep. All right, but let's talk about help me out with the math here. How yep. is that going to save someone money? So the first piece is the content creation. Um, and, and, and I want to be clear too, like if there's someone listening who is a hustler, you can do everything, almost everything that we're doing, you, you can do on your own. There's definitely ways to, to do that. What we're doing for you is first of all, finding the best pieces of content, which how takes do you, time. How do you do that? How do yep. you do that? It's a mixture of technology, but we still use people. We still have people looking at transcripts. We still have people watching videos. You know, sometimes what we found is that some of the best, most compelling content is when the person, you know, on one end of a video breathes in <gasps> or someone laughs, things that aren't caught by a transcript. So we still employ people in different ways, precise ways to find those moments. But um, so we find that content for you. 
Uh, we then create it and format it for whatever channels you care about. If you care about Instagram, it's different than LinkedIn. It's different from YouTube. So we format it for the channels you care about. We give you the platform to track this, filter this, sort this, post this, and that's its own piece of value. And then mm -hmm. we give you the analytics to automatically track for you. Hey, you posted this video on LinkedIn. It did really well. We're going to create more content like that. So when you look at it holistically for 500 bucks, you're basically getting content creation, content management, and content analytics, which we believe is, is pretty competitively priced for that. Mm, yeah. You've also been doing another podcast, um, Beyond the Uniform. Tell me, tell me yes. about that. And I, I am so jazzed to have Josh on the show. It was a big win for us to get uh, to get him. He'll be on soon. Um, you know, landed I, the big dog. <laughs> and I, you know, I'm so humbled because I've I've done 398 episodes, and I thought I was a big Jeez. cheese. And you're on. I, I don't even remember seven or eight hundred of these now. Um, it's it's uh, you know for people like us in the military. Um, I didn't really know about my career options when I was serving, and I wanted to create a way for people to learn about whatever career was right for them. Mm -hmm. And so I borrowed a page from Tim Ferriss and just thought, I don't have to have the answers. I just have to have the questions. And I'm going to talk to people who served in the military and became you know, photographers and people who became pro athletes and people who became all of these different things. I don't care what you do as a veteran. I just want you to know you've got unlimited options. Here's a potential roadmap. Yeah. And, you know, I think it's a good reminder for me because I've, I've done this for four years now, you know, mm -hmm. it, have lost money on it by far, but the idea for Captivate came out of beyond the uniform. And so mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you should do things because you'll get things back. But it is an example of a completely philanthropic endeavor. And I'm so grateful because I, I love Captivate. I love what I'm doing. I would have never had the insight to start it had I not been doing this side project for fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, there's so many benefits to having a platform and making connections and leading with service and serving other people yes. first and doing, you know, you know, just giving, you know, giving yeah. value. And, you know, how can I show up and do something good in somebody's world? You create a platform and all of a sudden, you know, you, you get time, you, you know, with the platform, it, you know, continues to grow and grow. And all of a sudden, you know, you're getting time with the CEO of Pepsi and Jack yeah. Will and, you know, and all these yeah. other guys, you know, all these other, you know, amazing people. And, you know, I, I also like as, as a, you know, just an advocate for starting a podcast or being a content creator and, and connecting with people. Like I get free therapy every yes. day. <laughs> yes. Because I get to talk about, yep. damn, this is really bothering me. What would you do? How would you solve this problem? Yep. And I'm like, wow, you know, normally I would have had to pay, you know, a couple hundred dollars or a thousand dollars for that answer. And yep. um, so that's another benefit. But just that, you know, the networking alone, you know, is, you know, it's, it's just, it's, I love it. I, I absolutely love it. And, um, you know, of your, um, now I'm looking at, you've got, you've easily recorded over 400 episodes here. Um, what, um, what, what have been some of the long lasting impacts from this for you personally? I mean, aside from, you know, starting yeah. a whole new company as a result. No, you, I mean, you hit on it. So, you know, I, I think it was a year ago, where I was feeling a little bit down. You know, sometimes I, I look at LinkedIn and I get really comparative. I get, I get out of my swim lane and I start thinking like, oh, look at all these people doing these great things. And I had this moment where I'm like, oh, I don't really have a mentor. I think someone on LinkedIn was talking about a mentor. Like, I don't have a mentor. And then I thought, wait a second, I, I've had 200 some conversations with incredibly successful human beings for the podcast. And it feels like all of those are mentorship conversations. So I think that what I've gotten out of it is the networking, the mentorship. And I think it's also, you know, I think that people who've listened to your show, Josh, they see how curious you are. They see that curiosity. I feel like it's taught me to be more curious, to learn from people. And I feel like that's one of the most valuable traits that I could, I could have for myself. Myself. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. So um, give me the timeline on Captivate. Like, when did you launch it? Where are you at right now? Um, sounds like you're, you, you had some, some, um, I don't want to say beta, but, you know, kind of very deliberate launch. And you're kind of at, you know, coming upon a new phase now. Yeah, you know, it is relatively very new. I would say officially in around August is when I started to really work on this full time. I think I'd wow. been tinkering with it for a couple of months, but you know, I, I want to share with anyone listening, who's an entrepreneur, um, 
Prior to Captivate, I started a company called Storybox. I raised $3 million from Google Mm -hmm. chairman, Eric Schmidt, and grew a big team and shrunk a big team and just Mm -hmm. had the crap beaten out of me and had some real war wounds from that first startup. But in the second startup, you know, I, I have made it to a revenue point that it took me three years to get to a story pox, $3 million in funding. And this time I made it there in six months without an ounce of funding. And so I just want to say that for anyone listening who is on their first or second or third startup, it is such a difficult path, but it is a skill that you learn. Yeah. And I, I heard, you know, I heard someone say once the best way to win the lottery is to buy more tickets. <laughs> and, you know, if you experience failure in entrepreneurship or anything, don't give up, you know, keep persistence wins and just keep doing and keep learning and keep being curious. It may not work the first or second or third time. I'm not claiming that it's worked on Captivator. It's a huge success, but I'm so proud of the progress. And, you know, entrepreneurship is a skill set that you learn. It's not a birthright. It's not something that people have or don't have. Yeah. You know, as much as you, you know, want to learn this from formal education, you're really not. I mean, it's just, yep. you know, there, there's, you know, the ways that we learn, right? There's that learn knowledge, there's that activity knowledge. Activity knowledge is 10 times more powerful. Yes. Learn knowledge is great. Like, you know, you have this catalog of podcasts now that both you've had these conversations and folks can listen to, you can listen to podcasts 24 seven and you are going to learn a lot, but until you get out in the, in the trenches. And like you said, right, you get, you get walloped in the nose a couple of times. Those are some really valuable teachers. It's not just theory at that point, it's practice. And because of that practice, you now have wisdom um, that allows you to excel much faster because you're not going to make the mistakes that you, you know, you made previously. Absolutely. And I'm at a point now, you know, I, I just turned 41. I'm at a point where when I see now these sage people who give me wisdom on a mm-hmm. podcast or in our conversation right now, I'm realizing like the wounds and the, the battle scars behind that wisdom. Yeah. It's not just a trite phrase. It's not just a catchphrase. It is, you know, it is earned. It is a lesson that someone earned through the fire and it makes it so much more valuable to me. Yeah, fantastic. All right. So, um, Justin, uh, w- give us a timeline of like people who have been listening to us talk about Captivate. Yeah. They're like, I'm in. How do I get on the list? What do I do? Like, what, you know, we're recording this at the beginning of June. It's probably not going to publish till July, July, end of July sometime. Yeah. So let's pretend we're at the end of July. Uh, yeah. And so, where are we at now uh, with, with Captivate and, you know, kind of being able to offer the product more broadly? So I I am um, I'm a big fan of of face to face and so or Zoom these days. Um, so if if anyone's interested, even though it's a self service platform, if you fill out our demo request, someone from our team will meet with you. We'll meet for at least a half an hour, learn about what you're wanting, share more about what we do. Because I'm a big believer, like you want a mutual fit. It's not a big win for either of us if you use our technology for a month and you don't like it. So we try to get to know you and make sure that we can deliver on what we're promising. Um, And if it works for both people, you can sign up that day. You can submit your first episode that day. The first one takes a little bit longer because we Mm -hmm. get your logo files if you have them, if you have fonts or colors you want to use. And we actually create templates for all your videos and graphics. Mm -hmm. And we'll repeat that until we get it right. So sometimes our clients say, hey, I don't like this. I do like that. Great. We thrive on feedback. We use that to get it right. Once your templates are in place, all you have to do is upload an episode. And right now it takes about three days for us to turn around the finished videos for you to publish. Uh, Is there limits on, on how many pieces of content? We, pri- we tier the pricing based on the number of episodes. So we have um, the one that I talked about at five. Someone like me is going to be in big trouble. <laughs> and we do, have, we do have a daily Yep. But we do have, we do, we do tier the pricing. So the more yes. episodes you do, the bigger the price breaks get. Yes, but yes, um, yes, yes. I think the most we have right now is eight episodes a month. But, you know, I would love to work with anyone who does, you know, 20 episodes a month too. It's just the more volume for us, the better. And so, yeah. and the more we do, the smarter we get at how to, how to serve you. 
Yeah, fantastic. Awesome. All right, Justin Asiri, uh, again, your website, captivate.ai. When someone goes there, you're going to see right at the top, it says request demo. Click on that, uh, and then you'll get connected with someone on Justin's team. Uh, Justin, anything else that, that we didn't cover that we should have been talking about? I didn't know to ask. No, I, you know, I'm just, I'm really grateful you had me on the show. And I, I guess, you know, to, to, to echo your plug on um, podcasting, I'm sure that listeners know like how great of a conversationalist Josh is, how curious he is, how much he's learned from these hundreds and hundreds of episodes. <laughs> and I think it's something that like, just like entrepreneurship, you don't have to have any authority or any blessing to start a podcast. There's so much you can learn by having these sorts of conversations. And I would encourage listeners to do it. It's a great way to learn. It's a great way to grow and a great way to, to contribute what you're learning to others. So I really appreciate your having me. All right, Justin Asiri, again, Captivate.ai and also BeyondTheUniform.org. And you could just search in the podcast directory, whichever podcast app you're using, and just search for the show title, Beyond the Uniform. Justin, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.